Click. Okay, so. Opening. Here we go. Great. So what we have here, let me just come out of the camera preview, is just uh, directional light right here. And if I rotate that, you see it actually starts doing the sky. Now right now, we've got a lot of very foggy effects on to really show off what's happening. But you can see that it's actually calculating the, the color of the sky and the horizon based on where the sun is, which is part of that. Um, I could actually just take this out and then change this for a basic color. Uh, nope, change this for a basic color. And then we have those. Yeah. Okay. So that is a much more dodgy thing. These are the same assets, the same torch in the same color. But if I open up the camera and put us in preview mode, that feels very different. You can it there's a does, lot more control it? over things like the sharpness of shadows and the the uh, bleed through effect. There's some really cool stuff um, in the new um, lighting engine, including in directional and omni lights. Um, in fact, I could show you real quick. One thing that I really love with that is you can actually have areas of pure shadow. So you've yep. got that, that, that corridor there that's boom. Not a directional light, a spotlight. That's the second time I've done that. I know. La, 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 la. <laughs> I'm a professional. Uh, spotlight. No, 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 no. There we go. Great. So uh, we have a spotlight. I'm not needed to play this animation anymore. And it's just hovering there. Let's rotate you around. Great. There is my spotlight. And you can see with the new lighting effects and fog, we've got this lovely little uh, subtle thing going on. One thing that we can see here, and this isn't currently working right, I have to enable shadow for this. Under light, we have projector. And what this is, is if we put in a texture here, uh, in fact, under particles, I have some textures, don't I? There we go. Yes. Let's put in an abstract texture. It will now map this to that light. But we've noticed this isn't quite there yet. If I put in a circle uh, and I move you to here and I make it nice and bright, um, we've noticed it's only mapping a small portion of this. Uh, let's actually change you to an Omni light. So again, the, the, this is part of like alpha territory. You just have to deal with issues when they come up. I mean, obviously, this is the type of thing that we could um, yeah, report so as well. Right now, we've got this light source, and it's reading this this texture, this smudged out circle, with a flat line. And if I rotate it, you can actually see where it's going. So something is not quite finished with a new lighting engine, but it's looking pretty fun. Like once that's done, we can start using gobo style effects. If you've done any theater lighting, a gobo is a metal uh, sheet, a very thin metal sheet that you've punched a silhouette into and you put it in front of a certain lamp, like a profile, and it'll project and put that silhouette onto the shape. So stained glass effects, for example, much easier yeah. way of doing those kinds of things or light through leaves rather than calculating the light through the leaves. If you don't have trees in the scene or you just want to fake it, you could just have a single light source that projects that down to the character. So there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with that. Uh, <coughs> okay. We also have some. Hmm? Yeah, you, you continue. I'm just reading the, reading the chat. I can't read it on my screen because you're on it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so moving this back to sky and let's put you back to a new sky and a new fixed sky. Not physics, physical, different word. Where'd you go? New physical sky. Boop, 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 boop. And we'll take our directional light and we'll just rotate. Great. So a few other things we can do here um, that's really cool. This does sometimes crash, so be aware. Um, yep. There's a lot of fun things we can do with the SGF I said, um, including volumetric fog. Haven't quite got this working just how I like it yet, but I've just been exploring with it. One thing I've noticed is that the directional light can actually light the directional fog. So you'll be very careful with volumetric. I don't think it's meant to be used in this kind of setting. It's supposed to be for an indoor, very misty feel. But the way it's calculating the light here just feels awesome. Like there's a very subtle god ray effect going on. It's not actually a god ray, but it's very close to that kind of feel. And I. I, I don't know the system fully. Yes. Um, as light passes through, you you will get these light shards. There's probably a way of tightening that up to make them... Sh oh, there we go. 
Jan's just found it. <laughs> oh no, I'm just moving the light. Oh, oh, okay. It's just coming through the the uh, the portcullis. Brilliant. Very nice. So I don't yet know like the impact on on screen and all the rest of it. Um, the new particles looking pretty cool, fun too. Um, but there's so much fun stuff in here, so I'm really enjoying playing with this. And the idea is to keep playing with it and playing with it and playing with it, so that when it gets to the state, we're you know ready yeah. to go. We're not surprised by any functionality because a lot of things have moved and a lot of things are very different. Um, including, let's go over to our torch particles. There's a lot more options now as well. And a lot of the options are in a different place. So um, I have... Here we go. I have my process... I mean, my physics material here, my process material here. And I have a draw pass here. But unlike previous versions, if I open the material here, that's not a new window. It's just further down the list. So I'm here and I'm thinking I need to go back to the... Phys to the uh, process material and i keep going back and that just means go back up to the next level now that that functions differently but there's some fun things you can do here uh one thing i have noticed uh, this current build is the cache doesn't always refresh so if i bring in a quad and i do a new uh, not skin new material for it no there it is <sighs> sorry i've just managed to confuse myself here we go. Hey. See, I told you it's it have changed how um, how it's laid out, and it's not automatic for me. Anymore. So we have here a lovely um, thing that isn't showing, which is great. But billboard is now down here, and if I put billboard on, we should be seeing things, but I don't see them. And it's because it's not automatically or not always um, putting these. Um, particles in but in theory if i put you in and i make sure i've got uh use the albedo i should be seeing these things yes. earlier on you had to shut down godo and reopen it up and then oh it's working now <sighs> and right now i found like if i play with these settings a lot then they might come back um it's not quite there yet but some other very fun things i'm gonna undo um check this out Particle attractor sphere. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh. So here is a sphere. And I'm just going to move you to here. I'm going to go to my flames. And I'm going to get out of the um, draw passes. I don't care about those. Into my particle material. Scroll down. And make sure this is enabled. Okay. And now, when I bring my um, particle attractor in. And I bring the strength up. I can see it's starting to go. In fact, let's make it flat. You just imagine the, the effects you could use with this. Let's give it a bigger radius. Let's say four meter radius. There we go. So you could have, like, when a doorway opens, you could um, instance one of these spheres in and actually have all of the particles to kind of drift towards it, which I think would be um, out of scope. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's all kinds of things you could do, like yeah. Um, lightning. Yeah. You can now just put the attractor on the thing, and if it's in range, the spell will hit. I mean, you don't want to do a lot of other things, so you don't have the, the spell firing behind you, but... There's some fun things you can do with this. Um, I've only really just started playing with it. Um, there's also a way that you can have a sub-emitter, so when the particle is fired, it can then emit a second particle, either at the end or during. We haven't got that working yet, and obviously there's no documentation yet, but I'm playing with it. Um, there's all kinds of cool stuff. How about, how about, how about, how about ooh, um, ooh, ooh, ooh. the collision stuff? You know what? I could go on about this for a while. The, just playing with it is fun. So I'm enjoying myself immensely. I'm coming out of full screen, Mikey. This is your warning. Uh... <gasps> 